欢迎收看 Money DJ 新股巡礼，我是丁玉山。有在关心台湾生技新药产业发展的投资人，一定都有注意到，过去一两年台湾相关的个股历经指标股解盲的不如预期，股价也随之上冲下洗。但是市场都认为产业还处于低迷调整之际，却有一家远从新加坡来的新药公司雅思康 KY 决定来台湾挂牌上柜。这家公司的经营团队不但有合计超过百年以上的国际药厂经验，执行长傅勇还曾经是美银美林证券亚洲医疗产业的投资总监。到底这家公司为什么会选择在这个时间点来台挂牌？公司的营运策略又有什么特殊之处？这次我们专访到雅思康的执行长傅勇，请他来亲自说明。首先，观众朋友一定很好奇，雅思康为什么会选择来台挂牌？选择在这个时间点挂牌，是不是？会担心台湾对生技医疗类股整体投资气氛的低迷，会对挂牌行情有所影响呢 ？In Taiwan, there are a number of、uh, investors who are very interested in the biotech industry. They have a lot of knowledge. They have a lot of experience. If you look at other Asian markets, in particular, if you look at places like Singapore, investors there are actually more interested in traditional industries rather than biotech. Well, I certainly think it's not what it was 12 months ago. Um, but I also think that certainly with investors we're speaking to, there does seem to be a lot of interest, particularly for high-quality companies. I think investors here are a bit disappointed with、uh, some of the、uh, outputs of the industry so far, but they're really still passionate about what biotech can deliver. Now, I was a banker many, many years ago, and in my days as an investment banker, I would always tell my clients, "You actually don't want to go out at the peak of the market. If you go out at the peak of the market," There's only one way for you to go after that, and that's down. I would rather go out when maybe the market is more reasonable, when valuations are more reasonable, and then hopefully, as the market continues to develop, share price will go up. Overall, the、uh, industry gets better,、uh, investors can make money, and then after three, four months, investors will really appreciate what that company has done, and there you can build a much better, long-term, sustainable relationship with your investors. 雅士康会选择来台湾挂牌，跟台湾投资人对于产业的相对熟悉有关。而雅士康聚焦在新药开发，公司的创办人以及经营团队都拥有国际生技医药市场的背景。除了执行长曾经担任美银美林证券亚洲医疗产业投资总监之外，包括医学长、营运长、事业长等等，都在阿斯特利康等国际药厂，或者是北美生技以及创投公司拥有丰富的经验。另外，股东的结构也不俗，包括新加坡主权基金旗下百分之百子公司、默克药厂出资五成的千济创投、晨星集团等等。而除了经营团队的实力坚强之外，执行长还提到，人体临床试验也是自家公司的竞争利基。So Aslan's leadership team have together over 100 years experience developing and launching drugs in U.S. in Europe and in Asia. Uh, now our team has worked in a number of other big pharma companies where they've been responsible for the development and launch of a number of multi-billion-dollar drugs, and that experience is very important.、Um, as we've seen here in Taiwan and in other parts of Asia, sometimes companies run the wrong clinical study, or they focus on the wrong group of patients, or sometimes they don't even understand the disease they're working on. In Aslan, we try to make sure that we're focusing on the right group of patients who are most likely to respond at the very beginning, and then we make sure we have discussions with regulators around the world, such as the U.S. FDA, to make sure the studies we run can lead to the drug's approval. And that, you know, for us is、uh, is very critical. With our lead molecule, valitinib, we recently had a discussion with the U.S. FDA. We agreed what that pivotal study would look like, and we're now initiating and starting that study. I mean, in terms of you know where that takes us strategically, you know, Aslan's focus is on Asia prevalent tumor types, so diseases like gastric cancer、uh, or a biliary tract cancer. Now, these diseases are relatively rare in the West, in U.S. and in Europe. So, typically, the the hurdles to get a drug approved in this area are relatively low, particularly as there are very few effective therapies approved for these diseases. But normally, the problem of working in this sort of so-called orphan disease space. Is that there aren't many patients, so running the clinical trials can be very difficult. However, in our case, there are plenty of patients here in Asia, 
So we run the bulk of the clinical trials for these diseases in Asia, where the patients are and where the world's experts are. But our team understands how to use that data to eventually secure global approvals, also in US and Europe, as well as in Asia. So we've been building a portfolio uh, up until now, primarily by in-licensing drugs from other global pharma and biotech companies. Though more recently, we've also been entering into a number of research collaborations with academic institutions to build a proprietary portfolio of our own. Now, when it comes to licensing drugs from other companies, what's critical is the strength and experience of your team. When you sit down in front of a company like Array Biopharma or Bristol Myers Squibb, from which we've uh, in-licensed drugs from, they're looking at you as a company to see if you have the capability to really uh, develop the drug in the right way and maximize the value of this drug. Because for many of these companies, they may not actually get much money up front. In most cases, we actually pay zero up front. However, they will get some share of the downstream economics in terms of perhaps royalties or milestones. So when they give a drug to you, it's important that they believe you're the right partner who can develop that drug. And we sat around the table with uh, many of these companies who have interviewed us um, very much like um, you know, parents would interview foster parents who are thinking of adopting their own child. Um, so it's a pretty uh, intense process. And I'm glad to say that you know, we've been very successful. We've in licensed four great drugs from global pharma and biotech companies. And I'm not uh, aware of any other companies in this part of the world that's done the same. 从刚刚执行长的说明可以了解，公司的核心策略是聚焦在亚洲盛行的癌症。而目前雅士康已经有五项产品列在开发中的 pipeline 里面，适应症都是聚焦在肿瘤领域。药物的作用转基不少都是抑制会在多种肿瘤上面可能出现的受体，可以具备比较高的标靶性。现在已经有三项进入人体临床试验。至于大家比较关心的，应该还是进度最快的 S 蓝零零一的进度。这个部分包括已经宣布启动的全球胆道癌第三期临床试验。我们听听看执行长怎么说。So 2017, the key events for us has been to start two pivotal studies. So very recently, we announced the initiation of our、uh, global phase three in biliary tract cancer, which we're calling the TreeTop study. Now, this study was uh, designed uh, based on discussions we had with the U.S. FDA, and the U.S. FDA agreed that this study could lead to the drug's approval, and that's that's very important. That gives us a very clear path to market. We hope to be able to complete that study over the next two to three years, at which stage we could then be filing for global approval. Later this year, we'll also be initiating a pivotal study in gastric cancer, plus a number of other programs. Of course, we're also looking to the additional deals that we can deliver, and we expect to be able to announce some of those sorts of deals either this year or next year. 雅士康目前的产品 pipeline 多数都是从国际大厂授权引进，但是可以预见的几年内，如果产品获准上市，找到对的团队销售也是至关重要。So there are going to be some countries,、uh, such as Europe, Japan, and China, where we're currently looking for commercial partners to help us maximize the value of our drug in those markets. So that allows us to generate some early revenues from licensing. But really, the, the the greatest value in our industry is in commercialization. So we don't want to give it all away by just out licensing it to a global partner. So we want to preserve commercial rights in some countries for ourselves, in the U.S. And in other selected Asian markets, so we plan to build our own sales and marketing presence in those countries, and that allows us to then、uh, create more value, more longer-term value for our shareholders. So ultimately, we need to find the right balance between early-stage licensing, where we generate some revenues, take some risk off the table, but also longer-term commercialization of our own, retaining more of the value for ourselves. 除了公司的产品以及经营策略之外，投资人应该也很想知道，雅士康是一家总部位在新加坡的新药公司。虽然因为当地投资人的投资倾向于以固定收益商品为主，因此当地的生技新药类股的挂牌风气并没有特别的活络，但是当地政府这几年却做出很多的努力，发展新药产业。这部分继续交由执行长来说明。So in、um, Singapore, the government has committed about 19 billion dollars over the next five years for R&D, and that builds on many years of previous billion-dollar investments、uh, into this industry. So they've been focusing on developing a certain number of capabilities in terms of basic science, translational research, and other areas like digital health. 
And I think these capabilities are very complementary with what's been built here in Taiwan. Now, in Singapore, of course, you have a country that is uh, predominantly Chinese speaking, a very efficient government, efficient systems and organizations. So I would strongly encourage Taiwan companies to look at Singapore as they're starting to consider their first move overseas. And maybe Singapore could be the first country that they explore. 从以上执行长的说明可以看得出来，雅士康拥有国际药厂以及全球生技投资的专业背景。经营策略除了聚焦在人体临床阶段的价值，同时也保有部分市场的商品化权利。而雅士康预计在六月一号挂牌上柜，市场预估挂牌之后渴望成为另一家市值百亿台币的生技新药公司。后续的营运状况，我们也会持续关注。感谢您的收看。